Hello beauties, I'm Sonia and today I'm at Bloomingdale's in San Francisco to learn how to get a fresh feminine look for spring with the Guerlain Spring Collection. Spring is all about pink, but not just any pink. This season, it's all about the fuchsia. So for 2011, you're going to see delicate pinks, soft pinks, bright pinks, and great sparkling fuchsias. Even we're going to interject a little bit of tangerine in there. Great new shadows, incredible, stunning new blush, limited edition in black enamel, and the new Rouge G in the Series Noir in the black enamel. When you, when you think of spring, you're going to think of pink. When you think of pink, you're going to think of Guerlain for 2011. This is the new eyeshadow, um, six pan from Guerlain, called Rue de Rivoli, which you see, it's got this beautiful, soft, delicate lavender, a stunning fuchsia, a little bit of a light peach, a crystal, a caramel, and just a little bit of a mocha grape because it's all going to be about soft, delicate, iridescent with a little splash of color for spring. Right here, the light lavender. And we're gonna press this onto the eyelid from the top of the eyeball all the way to the inner corner of the eye all the way to the outer corner of the eye. One great way to ensure that your eyeshadow stays on all day is by pressing it on. Don't dust it like so. Press it on, as you see here, because by pressing the color onto the eye, the eyeshadow stays on longer. The more you apply, the longer it stays on. Okay, open. See how that is? Oh, wow. Pretty even by itself. If you then added a little bit of mascara, you'd be set to go with a good daytime look. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a little bit of the soft, it's kind of a shell, right here, this tone at the bottom. And that's going to go on the brow bone. It's got a little touch of a satin appearance to it, not frost, but a little bit of satin, so it gives a little bit of highlight. And we're going to take a little bit of the camel color, which is, carry up, right there. I'm kind of le learning this easy. <laughs> take the top camel color right at the outer edge of the eye, from the outer corner, and if you can see how your eyes are arched, this way you're really creating that crease. So no matter how many birthdays we have, <laughs> we can always give ourselves a little bit of lift by doing the eyeshadow this way. In this combination, right here, right in the center, it is the pop color for spring. We're gonna capture our inner little girl. We're gonna take the pink. Close your eyes. Put this right along the upper lash line. You're not inundating the eye with pink. You're caressing the eye with pink. See, it was just that little bit of pink. Oh, it's kind of opaly too. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take the white that's in here. I'm gonna take a little bit of the white, just taking that right at the inner corner of the eye. Just to brighten that little inner corner. Now I'm going to take the darkest color that's in the eyeshadow combination right here, which is kind of a gray grape not to make it look too smoky, because that was very fall and winter, and very holiday was a little bit more of a smoldering eye. I want some intensity, and we're going to get the intensity with a liquid liner, but I want the, this to just give a little bit of contour. We're gonna take this just along the upper lash line, right at the outer edge. Smudge this right at the outer corner. We're not taking it into the crease. If you wanted to make it a little bit more evening and you wanted a little bit um, more of a smoky eye, if that's the look that you really want to go for, you can take a little bit of this into the crease. I have no problem with that because makeup, there are no rules. I am going to take just a little smidge of this softly underneath the eye. When you want to do your eyebrows, you can do either of two things. You can take a brow pencil you can take an eyeshadow or a brow powder to fill in your eyebrows. With this look, since the eyes are a little bit softer, I want to give a little bit of color to the eyebrow. But you don't want something too big, too gaudy. 
So that's why I'm doing very light strokes with the brow pencil. Mm -hmm. When it gets a little bit hot, pencils have a tendency to melt with all the wax in them. That is why for the eyeliner we're going to do liquid liner for the spring because it's going to stay, it's going to give you some intensity, but not like we did with the smoldering, smoky look for um, holiday. And make little, just a little line go right in the lashes. It's daytime, keep it a little thinner. Nighttime, then make it a little smidge thicker. Okay, open. See how you've got that very thin line right at the base, but it makes it look like you've got on an extra little coat of mascara, even though we've done no mascara. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to up it a notch by taking just a little bit more liquid liner so you can see it. But now always remember that when you're using liquid liner, since it is a liquid, <laughs> you need to give it a little bit of time to dry. That's why it always works better to do one eye at a time when you're doing liquid liner. For, so do one eye. Let it dry for maybe 30 seconds to a minute before you open up that one eye. See how that gives that way just a little bit more depth? Yeah. Now, the next product that I'm going to do, it's called Blush G. You know our lipstick oh, was nice. called Rouge G. <laughs> now we've got blush. Look at that blush. You can actually see the Guerlain logo, the G. But then watch what's coming right in to the screen. La, da, 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 da. <laughs> it is the brush, and it's actually a pink bristled brush. Because since this spring it's about pink, you've got to have a pink brush to go <laughs> with your blush. And then the inside of a container for the blush, actually, it's a velvet with a pink inside of the pouch. And this just gives you that little bit of the glow. And if you go to the very lightest color on here, you take that right on top of the cheekbone and you're highlighting that whole area. So you've got a built-in highlighter. Mm-hmm. Cool. And you, what I like is you can make it look very seamless because a lot of times blushes can get a little bit streaky looking. Mm -hmm. They can look like you've got a little bit of strawberry jam on your cheeks. <laughs> this, do you blend and blend and it turns to pure perfection. Very, very pretty. Now we're going to go into lip liner, and as we've done on many of the previous videos, our lip liner, Guerlain's lip liners, are waterproof. So if you line, fill in the lip liner, and let it sit for one to two minutes, it becomes wearproof. The lipstick, it's a black enamel case, and go ahead and open that bad boy up. And look, you've got that mirror built in. But this lipstick was also created by Lorenz Bomer, who is the, one of the most incredible jewelers uh, still to have a boutique on the Place Vendôme in Paris. But doing the black enamel, that is another limited edition. Now, the lipstick formulation is in the Le Brillant collection, so it's not a very opaque lipstick not a real thick lipstick. It actually gives you that shine. And again, this lipstick has the liquid mother of pearl to give immediate radiance. Uh, it has the crushed ruby to give that opalescence to it. So it's like having a lip gloss built into it if you don't want to put a lip gloss on. But with this collection, there are three incredible lip glosses. So you should have one of all of them. <laughs> this is number 867. This is that way. It's kind of a little bit of a deeper plum, but if you want to take just a little bit of that and make this look into a nighttime look, you can keep the eyes as they are and then just change the lip. Right along the center of the lip. Carry it out just a little bit. And then right here on the center of the upper lip, just to give you a little hint of tint. So the lips kind of look just bitten, still juicy and plump, but with the hottest color. You t we've taken it from a delicate pink to a beautiful fuchsia. Then you perfect the skin with the meteorite pearls, and now we've gone one step further. We've taken the meteorites and put them in a portable compact. So this is actually a mattifying powder that gives radiance, one of the first of its kind. So this is, if you were to take all of your meteorites, crush them up, 
and put them in a pressed form, that is what all the colors would look like. Mm. So it's still going to give you the color correcting ability, mm -hmm. it's still going to give you the illuminating ability, but now it's going to give you a little bit more mattifying in the areas that have that shine that you want to absorb the oil. And right in the T-zone, right through the rest of the face, and what it's going to do, it's going to give you that unifying effect. It's going to blend so the blush looks seamless. It's going to give you a little bit of highlight, but also giving the complexion a little bit more of a mattified look. And that is spring 2011. Wow, I love it. Thank you. The Guerlain Spring Collection is available now at Guerlain Counters and online. To see more photos of the collection and read a review, visit hellobeautyblog.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.